Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I will explain about drifts. Drifts that happen in model or data due to various reasons when deploying a machine learning model in production. I will also explain about different type of drifts that happen in product along with the causes and methods of detecting drifts. In the last of this video, I will explain about an end-to-end -end, uh, project based on machine learning along with uh, drift detection framework. So let's start the video. So let's consider a scenario where I build a machine learning project that has model accuracy of 98%. That was very high and my model is perfectly working on test and train data. So I deployed my machine learning model in production and users start using it and my model is working very well. But after some time, after model retraining and updating, I saw drop in my model accuracy from 98% to 85% and users start complaining about not having accurate predictions. This shows degradation in model performance and models start predicting incorrect results. So now the question comes, why model performance degrades? So model performance goes down because of drifts. Drifts occur when ML model predictive power goes down because of various reasons like change in data distributions, relationship between variables or environment changes or behavioral changes in users. There are various type of drifts. So let's learn about different type of drifts one by one. So the first one is covariate drift. When there is a change in distribution in one or more independent variables, that it means there is a covariate shift. This happens due to uh, environmental change, but relationship between the variables like X and Y remains the same, but distribution of the variable, independent variable X that is changed. This graph shows the distribution of X in 2019 versus 2021. And you can see there is a change in the distribution. So let's take an example of some demographic change in user base. As in past, you trained your model on younger customers, but now you have a lot of older customers as well. So there is an increase in mean and variance and the covariate shift happens. So second type of shift is prior probability shift. This shift happens when distribution of the target variable change, but the distribution of the independent variable remains the same or the relationship between the uh, variable uh, X and Y is also same. Then we can say that there is a prior probability shift. So let's take an example. Uh, let's take an example of a model where it is trained on the data with the persons who repay loans on time. But if there is a change in the customer behavior and they don't uh, repay their loan on time, then we can say that there is a uh, change uh, in, in the uh, target variable. So there is a prior probability shift. The third type of shift is concept shift. Concept shift happens when there is a change in relationship between the independent and the target variables. Then it causes the concept shift. This means the distribution of the target and the independent variable remains same, but the relationship between them is changed. It happens in the time series data with seasonality effect. So when we train the data with only one month, uh, but it does not generalize for the another month. Concept shift can be categorized into three categories. The first category is gradual concept shift. Gradual concept shift happens when there is a gradual or incremental change happening over time. So our model degrades over time because of change in consumer data or behavior. Like when someone launch an alternate product means when training a model, some products are not there. So model does not know the behavior of that unknown products and its similar trends. So there might be economic changes as well, like a, a change in interest rates that cause more number of customers to default on their loans. These are the types of gradual concept shifts. Uh, the other type of shift is called sudden concept shift. Sudden concept shift happens when there is a change happen by surprise or a sudden effect. It causes sudden concept shift. For example, in any case of global scale problem, demand forecasting models were impacted and supply chains could not keep up. So suddenly shortage of things will happen. Or when a company adds up a new equipment in production line, it shows new problems and 
old problems reduce down so our model is unable to classify those new problems because the model is not trained on them and the last type of concept shift is recurring concept shift that shift happens due to seasonality effect so there is a time series data which we build a machine learning model on it so after a certain period of time like uh, weekdays or weekends or uh, on the uh, year holidays as well our model performance goes down because customer buying pattern or customer behavior got changed in those time frames so uh, recurring concept shift will happen but that shift is not important because it happens uh, on only on a certain period of time and uh, uh, not for the uh, longer period of times so now the next question comes what cause these shift so the cause of shifts are sampling mismatch as your sampling strategy could be biased toward one category or apply a well trained model to a new product which model is not even trained on it a model does not saw that product in the past so that cause the incorrect predictions or anomalies in training and testing data can cause the change in data distributions or seasonality effect can also lead to model drift like we can discussed in the recurring uh, concept drift as well or there is a data quality issue that would be very bad it cause the incorrect data processing or duplication of data so these are the like uh, main causes that cause the shifts happen in the data and cause our model to degrade over time or suddenly loses its performance so now let's talk about the ways to detect a drift so there are mainly three ways the first is statistical other is model based and the another is adaptive window based tests so in the first statistical test we talk about the ks test ks test is used to compare two distributions that is training and the post training data and check if they have the same distribution or not it is used to detect a drift in the independent features or independent variables so for categorical variables we use the chi square test and for uh, numerical variables we use the ks test so if you want to check the distribution change in your independent variable you can use the ks test another type of uh, statistical test is population stability test this test is used to uh, check the distribution change in the target variable so in the test and the training data we can check the distribution of the target variable and uh, if there is any change we can uh, generate the alert so if there is any change in the target variable it can generate the alert based on the ps score if the ps score is less than or equal to 1 it shows distribution of the data does not change or shifted if it is less than 0.2 and more than 0.1 it shows there is a slight change in the data distribution but if there is a more than change of 0.2 then we can say that there is a significant change in the target variable that shows the drift happens the other type of approach is model based approach this method is used to detect data drift between two populations using machine learning model based approach so in this method we can label the real time data as one and the data used to create the model as zero so when model assesses the outcomes it gives the result based on the accuracy if accuracy is high we can say that there is no drift happen but if accuracy is low we can say that the drift happens in the data the other technique is adaptive windowing technique so adapting windowing technique is a sliding window technique that is used to detect the concept shift it works by using fixed window size and slides over the new data to to detect if there is any change in the data or not so we can also set a threshold to generate alerts so so if there any kind of a shift happens like concept shift gradual shift or recurring shift or sudden shift will happen and it is above that threshold it will generate the alert so let's discuss about some key points that you can remember while building a machine learning model or you can use when retraining or deploying machine learning models in production so first point is always update or retrain data at random if you don't have the drift detection framework in your model or you can deploy or retrain model at random because it's very hard for you to learn what's the best time for you to retrain or deploy model in production time and then use weighted data that is inversely proportional to the age of data while training new model rather than deleting old data or you can use the 
incremental learning to retrain your model so that uh, the old retrain or old training of the data should not get missed out so guys uh, let's talk about the project uh, so it is a project uh, of model monitoring using airflow and uh, docker so it is a complete project that is present in the website of project pro you can also go through this project and uh, build your own project with your own data with the same pipeline that the project have so in this project you have the postgres server along with the all the things that are spread in the data science life cycle of data cleaning to feature engineering building models and along with how to deploy a model and also uh, to uh, build a drift detection framework that can detect all type of drifts concept drift data drift model drift and all the kind of things so it is a complete project with the architecture diagram is also available that uh, what are the steps uh, in this project that you have to do so these are the steps like from the data source to the data processing and then uh, building the machine learning models uh, after doing the feature engineering and at the end model deployment so in the part of model deployment we have another part include that can use to detect the drift in the uh, model so uh, we have uh, this uh, complete uh, notebook here so this notebook has the uh, drift detection pipeline so i can explain about this that uh, we have a goal to build a classification model for loan eligibility that predicts whether a loan is given or refused kind of thing like that but our uh, task is to detect the drift so drift can be of any type that, that i already explained it can be uh, it can be a concept drift it can be the data drift it can be a model drift any kind of drift is there so we have to get the checks so as as, as we see we have when, when we get the data we have to check for the data quality along with da data drift that the da uh, the data di uh, distribution data relationships should not be changed and uh, after it get processed we have to check for the model drift that model accuracy should not be re reduced as well and al along with the model evaluation parameters we can also check here and to uh, build this kind of uh, framework we use the library deep checks so deep checks is a python library i will show you uh, that is it is a python library which has the all the features to check for the uh, drifts in your uh, data for the leakage as well for the uh, shifts in the data whether it is your independent variables or it is your target variable you can check with that uh, library you can go through, go through with the, each this kind of uh, uh, links and you can uh, copy paste these kind of codes and uh, do your own hands on on this kind of uh, uh, library as well so by using the same kind of uh, uh, library i uh, build like uh, this kind of uh, uh, project that is used to check for the data data quality along with the data data drift as well and when i apply these uh, functions on my uh, data it tell me whether it is good time to retrain my model or not so as you see when i check for my first check it shows that uh, it is good to retrain with the first data that i get but with the second data that i get it shows me it is not good to retrain but with the third data it said it is good to retrain so now i know that uh, uh, which data is good to retrain for my model but which data is not so by using these kind of tricks i can easily like make my uh, machine learning model uh, accuracy up to a point not de de uh, degrades in the uh, time alongside a time as well so i think like uh, that's all from my side in this uh, uh, project video so i hope you guys like this video please uh, like subscribe and share this youtube channel and uh, thank you thanks so much